Thanks very much for joining us. A record 12,500 people have passed through the gates at the city's biggest mining expo over the last three days. Exhibitors have reported sales worth millions of dollars. Now the mammoth task of packing up the displays begins. It was time for one last look inside QME. And today was about closing the deal on those big purchases. We've had uh, the uh, multi-million dollar deals uh, have been completed this week. Uh, lots of business contacts have been made. The Bowen Basin generates $20 million of sales for Becker Mining every year. And this would have to be the best I've ever attended. Um, three solid days of solid customers. Record crowds poured through the gates of the three-day event and local companies are reaping the benefits. Very good. I think we've had uh, some good traffic. Every morning be really good. All Jack and Paints only started up four years ago. Ah, uh, yeah, it is good to get to see a lot of people without leaving here. They'll be back in 2014. So, too, will many others. We've already released the floor plan, but uh, and this show sells out pretty quickly, and, and the exhibitors are already booking in based on the results they've got this year. One thing we are likely to see more of over the coming years is a push towards automation, where a driver can control a piece of machinery without even sitting in the cab. Sandvik is one of the first companies to offer the emerging technology. Predominantly in safety, taking operators out of the, uh, the underground environment and put them in a surface control room or an environment that's safe. Organisers will begin packing up the monster trucks and other exhibits tonight. Amy Williams, 7 News.